so much work being done to improve the cure rate of these patients, bringing some of these um, regimens that have shown such benefit for the metastatic patients into the neoadjuvant setting, still trying to figure out what the sequence looks like, but I think a lot happening here, a lot of trials ongoing to try to, to determine who's going to best respond and do well with these therapies. Moving along to what I like to call the dessert, right? <laughs> this, is, this is my favorite part, is what's coming and what's new. So much exciting stuff. Manuel, you, you have done so much drug development, particularly in the field of pancreas cancer. I cannot wait to eat my ice cream <laughs> and hear your take on what you see personally as promising and upcoming and, and what you're seeing in your phase one units. So um, there is a lot of stuff out there. Um, and I think what is important is that for the first time we're starting to look at patient populations and not just the entire group of patients. So a very important group is the uh, DNH damage repair pathway group, which traditionally, traditionally has been identified based on high family history, but we're learning more and more that even unselected cases have germline mutations in some of the genes that compose that the pathway. So the broader applicability of those panels, I think is giving us that about 15% of the patients may have damage repair. And of course, PARP inhibitors, ATR inhibitors, those are the drugs that I think are more important and interesting in that particular, that particular group. So that, that's, I think, is a very, very in, in interesting area. We haven't talked much, but we will talk probably before we finish, is about immunotherapy, right? And how yeah. it hasn't been unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there is a lot of interest in, in combining agents with checkpoint inhibitors to try to, to do that. The, the diversity of studies is, is very, very broad. The ones that we are in more interested, but that doesn't mean they're going to be the, the better, are CXCR4 inhibitors, CCR2 inhibitors. Um, even we started talking about the uh, microenvironment and how modulating the microenvironment with FAK1 inhibitors, with uh, pegylated hyaluronidase, may at the end of the day make the tumor hot for immunotherapy. So I think that's another big, big group of of, uh, of, uh, of agents. STAT3 inhibitors, there's some very interesting data and a huge study <laughs> uh, being, being, being developed, we will, we will see. Uh, CDK46 are also in, in, in actively um, in, in development. So, so I think these are probably the, the, the four or five more uh, exciting that I see uh, out there. We continue to see studies that are come back negative recently and will be presented at ESMO, the, the Oncomet trial, the, the Yosemite. I mean, we spent uh, probably four or five years working in the lab with that compound, got very nice data, did the study, didn't work. Yeah. So the story circles <laughs> this again. Like <laughs> but you still learn. So you always learn. You the always story, learn. You always you learn. learn. You're, yeah, but one day, one day you would like to learn by succeeding. Yeah. By <laughs> well, I, but I, I, I think you know, neg from from all the negative came a lot of positives. Yeah. Yeah. Because we learned a lot of along the way. There's there's no negative study. There's uh, there's always a positive learning experience one way or the other, As and that's I, I like that treated statement. pancreas cancer <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> I think this sets, sets a beautiful stage, and, and one thing that I want to clarify, and I'm sure Manuel will agree with me, I can't tell you how many patients come into my clinic and say, I want the Jimmy Carter drug, pembrolizumab, <laughs> for my pancreas cancer, and, yeah. and, and I know you alluded to the combinations, the combination's so promising, but for single agent checkpoint inhibitors, and I want you to announce it to the world, do those work in pancreas cancer? No, they do not. Yeah. They do not. We haven't seen... A, uh, non, except in the MSI, yeah, yeah, point yeah. five percent yeah. that each one of us have seen a couple of patients. Yeah, um, no, they don't work. 